Hello everybody, this is Dr. Richard Chen. Dr. Tom Levy and I had the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Ken Walker, who will be turning 102 years of age in February 2025, to learn his secrets to longevity. Dr. Walker, a renowned Canadian physician, columnist, and a prolific medical writer, survived a heart attack some 28 years ago. Rather than taking statins as his cardiologists recommended, he took high doses of vitamin C, about 10,000 milligrams per day, along with other micronutrients. Today, at 102, he remains vigorous and continues to lead a productive life. Let me ask you this, Dr. Yes. Walker. I mean, here you are, you've passed 100 years, uh, a mark that very few people reach, and uh, you had all your problems uh, 30 years ago when you were with Dr. Pauly. When you first started your vitamin C, or, or since then, what is, if you could say, your typical day of eating? What do you eat morning, noon, and night? What's your usual diet? I mean, I can tell you one thing that's happened to me. Uh, when I was in high school, I weighed 125 pounds. I weighed, weighed myself today. I'm 123. Mm. That's one yeah. of the that's one of the secrets of my life. I think that I think obesity and type two diabetes is the great peril of civilization. And our healthcare system is going to go broke unless we do something about it. I've been well looked after by my mother and my, my daughter and my wife. I think we have a relatively good diet. We're not perfect. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but I, I watch my weight carefully. And uh, I think that has a great part of my survival. Sure. That's pretty interesting. What else of rum at the end of the day? <laughs> I think there's something else, too, if I may. You know, I think this guy has always been working really hard. His mind is always active mm. and always learning. And he's, um, you know, he always jokes about never retire. Uh, he's 101 years old, still working hard, still always thinking about the next financial deal he's going to make, always thinking about the next mm. opportunity. Um, so there's something about, you know, keeping the mind active, I think, that's mm -hmm. important as well as diet and exercise. New book. And I've also written a new book. Ooh. Ten books. Well, that did, yeah. And the new book is uh, about retirement residencies and, and how, how to keep well. Everyone in the retirement residence, they all gain weight. They uh -huh. are all inactive. They don't have a drink a day. Are you big on desserts and sweets? Ice cream, no. maybe, but not sweets. When I have sweets in the evening, I have blueberries. Oh, okay. ice cream. Because I guarantee you, most people, as they get up in years, not even necessarily close to where you are, and checking out of the grocery store, I mean, they just pile on the Milky Ways and the Snickers and the Little Miss Debbie cupcakes and uh, go in their kitchen, and half of the kitchen is sweets. But that's that's something that uh, you've Excellent. avoided. Yes, very good. Yeah. And we try to stay away from it. Right. right. How often did you... Let's say dine out, uh, you know, eating the restaurants. And what do you think about these fast foods or ultra processed foods? How, how did you handle those? I, I go into McDonald's now and then for an occasional hamburger, but not every day at, at mm -hmm. all. I, it's very, very infrequent. But I enjoy a, a, a McDonald's hamburger, but but you don't do it very often. Mm -hmm. That's that. Yeah, so do I. Occasion, very occasionally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's that's the idea. We still need to live a life, you know, <laughs> once a while. Yes. And I've been happy. I've had four great children, and I have a, a wife that's been looking after me for sixty-eight years, 
Mm. And uh, I think that happiness is is very important. Yes, undoubtedly. Absolutely.